I am Anil Kumar and now we will learn how to express algebraic expressions in words. We have a couple of questions here. I like you to pause the video, copy them and then write them in words. So the question here is write each algebraic expression in words. 7a, 2a plus 3, 3a minus 5, 5 times a minus 4, a divided by 3, and a times a plus 1. Here a is a variable. Whenever we talk about algebraic expression, we should have a variable. Variable is something whose value could be different. The value changes, right? That's variable. So I hope you have written these algebraic expressions, write them in words and then check with my suggestions. So the first one here is 7a. We could write this as 7 times a number, right? So we can say this as, let me write number 7 as 7 itself, 7 times a number. This is one way of writing this algebraic expression in words, right? 7 times a number. We could also say a product of a number with 7, right? But this is better. Now the next one is 2a plus 3, which we could write twice a number at 3, but a better way of writing is 3 more than, 3 more than, twice a number. 3 more than, twice a number. Now we have 3a minus 5. What should that be, right? It is 5 less than thrice a number, right? So it is 5 less than thrice a number. 5 times a minus 4. Now in this, the operation a minus 4 will be performed first and then we have to multiply by 5. So think about it. How should we write this, right? So it is not, uh, so it is kind of different from the one which we did, right? So 4 less than a number times 5. Do you understand? So we'll say 4 less than a number, then you times it by 5. So times 5, right? So, so that is how it should be written, right? So if you do 5 times a number take away 4, it is going to be wrong, right? You, you could have written for 3a, 3 times a number take away 5. Now in this case, remember, we have a minus 4 in the bracket. So 4 less than a number times 5. Do you understand? So that is critical to understand a divided by 3. So we could say a divided by 3. So you could say a, a number divided by, divided by 3. So that is literal translation. You could say one third of a number. You could also say one third, right? One third of a number. You could also use the word quotient. So quotient of number and three. So you are dividing a number by three. Now the last one is for you to do. Think about it. We have now the variable is just one. A and A plus one. So how should I write? So I could say one more than a number times itself or one more than the number times the number itself. Uh, the other way is, whenever we have terms like a and a plus 1, we also call them consecutive numbers. So we can say this as product of two consecutive numbers. So it's important to understand the term consecutive, right? So the consecutive numbers are numbers which come after one another. For example, if I write 21 and 22, these are consecutive numbers, right? Let's say 40 and 41, they are consecutive numbers. So you'll find that the difference between the two 
is just by 1. So if one number is, let us say, n, the other one is n plus 1. You get the idea, right? So if I say n is 40, then n plus 1 will give me the next consecutive number, which is 41. So that is how we could see it. So it is important to understand and appreciate that a times a plus 1 could be written as product of two consecutive numbers, right? So now this one is for you. If I write a plus a plus 1, how should I write this expression in words? I hope that is going to help you. Thank you and all the best.